Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to create a contact form page in VB.net and send emails from GoDaddy hostings. Right now, I'm in the ASP.net source code. In the designing part, I just created three text boxes. One is the name, email, message, and the button control. And I will show you the output on the browser, how it looks like. And here is the output which contains the three labels and three text boxes, one button control. After writing the coding part of contact page, which is web iphone mail.aspx page, I will upload this page into my remote server. Then we will test to send an email through GoDaddy hostings. Let's go back to the coding part. Right click, view code. First part is you need to import the namespaces. Imports system. In order to send an emails, we need the namespaces first. Imports system.net. The other one is the imports system.net.mail. These two namespaces are very important to send an email. The next part is we need a button control event. So let's go to the designing part. Double click the send button. It will generate a button click event. And the code is let's create a object for the mail message class. Dim message as new mail message class message dot from is equals to new mail address which is text email dot text message dot to dot add here I'm giving the my GoDaddy account email contact at creatediscounts.co.in and third one is a message dot subject is equals to mail received from plus text name dot text message body text message dot text message dot is body html is equals to make it true After creating the from to subject and body, now we need to create the SMTP client. So dim SMTP object as SMTP client is equals to new SMTP client. And this SMTP client takes two parameters. One is a host and the other one is a port number. Here you see the host as string relay hosting dot secure server dot net. This is a GoDaddy SMTP host, and the second parameter is the port number. Port is an integer, so and here the port number of GoDaddy is 25. After that. We need to specify the our credentials of GoDaddy SMTP credentials is equals to new system dot net dot network credential and this takes the username and password. Here the username is my email ID only. And the password I'm and the second parameter is a password as a string. 
but here for the security reasons I'm putting the dummy password the time of uploading this page into my remote server I will change into real credentials so at this moment I'm using password only the next step is SMTP enable SSL is equals to false SMTP dot send email and send method which takes this message we are sending the message and the last one is the we need a confirmation message for that I have used a literal control here the literal message dot text is equals to thanks for contacting us will reach as soon as possible after that we need to destroy the mail message object message dot dispose method that's it this is a code to send emails in vb.net using godaddy hostings now it's time to upload this page into my remote server i just open the filezilla ftp client to transfer local site files into remote site this is a local site and this is a remote site let me log in just i connected here is the remote site i'm transferring those files webmail.aspx and webmail.aspx.vb code see here both webmail.aspx now it's time to send an email from my real domain hostandservice.com let's open the browser the domain name is hostandservice.com slash webmail.aspx before sending an email let's check my godaddy email account this is my godaddy workspace email account contact at greatdiscounts.co.in right now in the inbox there are no messages to display let's go back to the browser we'll send an email through my contact page the name is jack email is jack at gmail.com message is this is testing mail send here mail has been sent successfully let's check in my godaddy email account the mail is received or not inbox still not received here it is the jack at gmail.com mail received from jack this is test mail that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel Catch you on my upcoming videos.